If you're new to my channel, welcome. My name is Tasha Marie TMR. If you're back again, welcome, 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 welcome back. All right, you guys. So um, I'm on my way to work this morning. Y'all, this might look a little dark, and I'm sorry about that. I don't know what that's about. It's kind of an overcast this morning, but, you know, we're going to do what we're going to do about it. I don't know what else to do about it, but so I'm sorry. So I hope you guys can see me pretty good but anyway good morning everybody um y'all had a good night last night i got up really early i woke up about 4 50 this morning 10 minutes before my alarm was supposed to go off so i got up and had my coffee set and um, looked at to try to answer some comments this morning that i could got up and got myself together i really didn't um I really didn't put any makeup on this morning. Y'all had to watch this car. It was trying to merge over it. He was coming pretty fast. Um, I didn't put any makeup on this morning, y'all, because my allergies is bothering me this morning. So I'm constantly rubbing my nose and stuff. So I was just like, oh, I don't feel like putting no makeup on. So I just put on some lip gloss because I just was in a lip gloss only mood this morning as far as my allergies and stuff bothering My eyes is watering and itching and stuff. So I just didn't want to do it. So y'all going to hear me. Um, snorting a lot and I apologize for that but you know it's my allergies and if you got allergies you can relate all right you guys um so y'all I was um ooh, scrolling through these YouTube streets this morning and um, I saw something that said that Wendy Williams husband y'all is asking for spousal support and child support First and foremost, baby, how you figure you gonna get some spousal support? Um, yeah, so you had a whole mistress for 15 years, okay? Allegedly, for 15 years, you had a whole mistress. So where Wendy need to support you at? Like, baby, you need to support yourself. And child support, like, I didn't understand that. I'm like, how is he trying to get child support? Um, I guess he wants Wendy to pay, um, you know, for little Kevin's um, college. But I'm pretty sure she was the one paying for it anyway. You know what I'm saying? I mean, she was the breadwinner, the main breadwinner. You know what, y'all? I'm, I'm just going to tell you, like, that whole situation with Wendy Williams, you know, it's, just a, it's an unfortunate situation for her, for any woman that has to endure, endure that, especially for her, seeing that she's in the public eye and, you know, her husband thought so much of her and her, thought so much of her, also thought so much of her success that he would embarrass her like that. You know, I'm just like... That's, you know, this, what's the word I'm looking for? It's just tacky. Okay, let me just say that. It's just tacky. You know, I'm like, spousal support? Boy, how you think you gonna get some spousal support? Like, y'all already know. Wendy got some, she probably got some sharks for attorneys. Like, that's not even gonna happen. But I guess he answered to the um, the divorce. And, and those is, those is his answers, I guess. Um, he wants spousal support. And child support. I think he just trying to be funny, y'all. Because how you think you going to get a whole spouse support? So, you know what? At this point now, you know, this woman that allegedly he was, you know, with or sneaking around with for 15 years. Like, um, like I wonder what she think now. Like, how she think of him? You know? Because, obviously, the way that he's been taking care of her was through Wendy's money. You know, yeah, he, he was making money, but he was making money based off the fact that Wendy was making money. You know, so that money that he was uh, uh, available to, he's not, as, he's not as available to that money anymore. So I wonder how she feel, y'all. 
Like, what, I mean, I mean, I just, I wish I could be a fly on the wall in a house to hear like their conversations now, you know. And then, you know, my thing is this: like, what, like, what type of woman is her? What, like, what type of woman is she? I should say. Excuse me. Like you. Yeah, he was willing to cheat with you, but you knew this man was whole married. So like the old saying go, the way you start a relationship is the way you're going to end a relationship, right? So what makes her think that he's going to be so faithful to her when he wasn't even faithful to the woman he gave vows to? He had, you know, gave vows to. Like, I just don't understand how she really think that, you know, they're going to ride off into the sunset. You know, even with this baby that allegedly is he is. You know, like... How y how you think that, boo? You know? I'm tell you something. Women like that, I have no respect for. Because all these single men out here, all these single men, you, you had to go and get you with a married man. And you didn't carry on like a six-month relationship or a one-year relationship. You know, allegedly, you didn't carry it on a 15-year relationship with this man. Okay? And then produce an alleged child out of this relationship. I'm going to be honest with you. Whatever happens, happens. She deserved every bit of it. Whatever happens, just happens to her. Like, that's how I am about the whole thing. So, you know. But, you know, Wendy, they, you know, from what I can see, you know, Wendy is is doing fine. You know, somebody, I heard somebody say, well, you know, Wendy's got to spend all her nights alone. How y'all know she's spending them nights alone? You know, she probably happy to be alone because she ain't got to deal with all that nonsense. Because if he was, you know, creeping with this woman for the past 15 years, he probably wasn't at home that much anyway. So that's it's something she's probably already used to, him being absent for an extended amount of time. You know, y'all, you know I got to merge this traffic, so I'm going to be looking at the camera, looking at this traffic. Cause baby, I'm not trying to die trying to film this vlog, all right? So, um, I also saw, y'all know that Tamar Braxton's uh, niece passed away. It's her brother, Michael's, her older brother, Michael, which he only has one brother. His daughter passed away. She had some, I believe she had a heart condition or something like that. So, um, everybody has been, like, <clears throat> ridiculing, ridiculing. Tamar on how she is dealing with the death of her niece because Tamar has said that um, she is not going to the funeral. She too busy. So everybody's trying to figure out like, what you mean you too busy? Like, why are you not going to this, you know, your niece's funeral to support your brother, the other family members? You know, and I'll say this, like, I can't, you know, I don't know because I'm not Tamar. I'm not in Tamar's head. But, you know, everybody grieves differently, right? Um, you know, when my dad passed away, y'all, I didn't want to go to his funeral. Because I wanted to remember my dad the last way I saw him. You know, that, that was the memory I, I wanted. I didn't want the memory of seeing my dad laying in that coffin. You know, and Tamar might be feeling the same way. She probably want her, her the last time she saw her niece which when she was alive and well, um, that's probably the, the, the vision that she wants in her head instead of a vision of her laying in a coffin. You know, you got to think of it like that. People are so quick to judge and ridicule somebody. You know, now that might not, I mean, I'm going to say that's the reason that she don't want to go to the funeral. Um, you know, of course, y'all, I don't know Tamar personally, but it just, I don't see, I don't think she's, I, you know, Tamar loves her family. You know, for the most part, that Braxton family seems like a close-knit family, even though they have a lot of issues. But I think a lot of their issues stems from, um, you know, the fame and them being on TV and their lives being out there for public display causes a lot of issues. And a lot of times, a lot of the issues that they do have, I think, gets dramatized because they are on TV. You know, they have that reality TV show, Braxton Family Values, which I like. I'm going to be honest with y'all, I haven't really watched it this season. 
<clears throat> because I've been more in tune on YouTube than I have to, um, you know, reality TV. Because it's enough uh, reality TV on these YouTube streets. Really, y'all, then on these, uh, on this, uh, cable, on these cable networks. So, y'all gonna see me rubbing my nose because my allergies are starting to kick up. But the traffic is pretty good this morning. It's not real bad. I'm making pretty good time, so that's good, too. Yeah, so, yeah, I don't think people should need, need to be, you know, going hard for Tamar. You know, how they are on these blossom, um, gossip blogs and her fans and supporters and stuff. They just trying to figure out why Tamar don't want to go to this funeral. And you know, at this point, it ain't none of y'all business why this woman don't want to go to the funeral. Let this woman grieve the way she wants to grieve, you know? It's not to say that she didn't love her niece. She just probably don't want to see her laying in that coffin. That's probably not the last memory she wants etched in her head. And like I just said, I felt the same way about my dad's funeral. The only way I, the only reason why I went was because my brother begged me. I really did not want to go, you know? And my brother's like, you have to, you know, you got to represent... You know, you you was his daughter, y'all, his only daughter. You got to represent the family, and I understood what my brother was saying, but that was just a, a pain that did I I didn't want to endure like that. I just didn't want to endure it. But needless to say, I did go, <clears throat> and I'm gonna be honest with y'all, I, I regret going because when I think about my dad now, that's how I vision him laying in that coffin because that was the last time I saw him. So, but anyway, y'all, I ain't trying to depress y'all. I'm not, I'm not trying to depress y'all. But I will say this, y'all. For the most part that I see on, for a lot of the channels that I'm subscribed to, y'all, and I'm subscribed to a lot of channels. Um, I have all different type of channels that I watch. I watch makeup, hair, family channels, cooking channels. I watch a lot of stuff on YouTube. I enjoy YouTube. But what I will say for the most part of these family channels that I watch... What I really wish these women would stop doing is, when, especially for the ones who are married, stop putting your marriage and the problems that you're having in your marriage, stop putting that out, stop putting that out here for the world to see. Like, that that's a, that's a sacred union. Regardless of what's going on in it, handle that behind the camera. I get that a lot of these um, YouTubers feel like you know their fans love and support them and they and they feel like that their you know their fans are their family and and that's true i do feel like there's a, a lot of my subscribers i feel like are, are family to me you know because we we connect so much in the comments and when i do my lives with francois we, we connect in the chat room but you know there's an old saying you guys misery loves company and just because somebody subscribed to you don't necessarily mean they just all for you, right? They probably just there for the, for the tea, for the drama, right? And I just feel like a lot of these YouTubers, and I'm speaking on the females that I watch, that's having problems in their marriage right now, like, to be more mature about it and keep it off YouTube. You can still vlog your life without putting your personal business on display because when you do that you are uh you you are setting yourself up for judgment for criticism um and, and, and some people don't care like the money the money they they gain to sub to, to to earn from the views that they will get based off the title how they title the video to captivate somebody to click on it Yes, can potentially bring you a lot of money because as we all know, everybody loves drama. And I'm going to be honest with y'all, I click on it, I watch it, but I, I don't watch all of it. Because when you start really getting into it, I'm just like, you know what, I don't want that type of karma in my life. So I don't want to sit and watch that, you know what I'm saying? So I'll watch a little bit of it and then I'll just click off of it because I, I just don't want to be a part of that. But I just wish that, you know, people will... Not saying that all relationships are, are good all the time because, you know, everybody has issues and problems. You know, some people have, you know, problems with infidelity. Some people have problems, you know, in their marriage or relationships or financial 
problems or whatever is going on but i just think like you know when it comes to that y'all need to keep that between y'all it, it don't it don't need to be out here for other people to uh uh for other people to watch yeah i'm gonna give you an example it's one uh one of the one of the channels that i watched um, she's going through something with her husband and I saw a video yesterday that she had put out where she said that um, Her husband a subscriber seen her husband comment on an Instagram of a stripper I believe it is and the subscriber seen her husband comment, right? so she takes the comment screenshots the comment and sends it to this youtuber right so the youtuber was telling us this in the video and she was like this subscriber is one of her a1s because she's had her channel for a long time she's like this subscriber is one of her a1s and this subscriber has her personal cell phone number and you know and i'm not saying that the subscriber doesn't genuinely care for her but like i said earlier y'all is the old saying misery loves company like, you don't know what this woman going through through her relationship. You know, why she's sitting up there. I'm not saying that she shouldn't look out for this woman. But some things you should just keep your mouth closed about. You know, because guess what? Although you feel like you're doing something by telling this YouTuber that her man is is, is saying something inappropriate on a, 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 another female's Instagram channel. And, of course, as a woman... You hear your man doing something he ain't got no business doing. Yeah, you you heed it. You upset about that. But guess what? Now, you didn't help her get all upset. But guess what can happen? That man could probably persuade her to be un, un upset. Okay? And you didn't did all that. And they still together. But you as a subscriber or whoever, a friend or whatever, you didn't went through all that. Got all that mess started, and guess what? They still together. So, what purpose did you serve? Oh, gracious. Sorry, y'all. I lost y'all. My bad. So, yeah, anyway. So, I just. Y'all, these allergies kicked my butt this morning. So, I just wish that. They would keep them their private lies. <laughs> there we go. They private lies off of YouTube, y'all. I just really wish they would. But will they? Uh, absolutely not. Because they know that's what people want to see. People people are nosy by nature, right? And people want to click. They want to hear. They want to see. They want to be a part, a part of it. They want to be involved. And so, these people are going to keep on. They're going to keep on posting all their personal business out there. And my thing is this, though. A lot of these YouTubers, y'all, they have children. Some have small kids. Some have bigger kids. And especially the ones with, with, with the bigger children, the, uh, the older children who can access social media. Like, social media is so easily accessible now, you know. And what, what happens when your child sees this and or say for instance uh, uh, your child going to school right and one of their schoolmates sees your mama and your daddy on YouTube telling all their personal business yeah you don't think kids kids are, are cruel you don't think them kids is gonna be teased at school like you got to think about how that could potentially affect your children by putting your business out there or it could be it could be the kid not even see the video it could be the kid's parent and then the parents say hey don't you go to school with uh so and so and so and so and you like yeah you know and then oh well they mama and they daddy they daddy got, got, got caught cheating so now now the, now the kid that went to school my mama said that your daddy cheating on your mama you know what i'm saying like, you got to think about that. And one thing about these YouTubes, or any social media, y'all, once you put it out there, it's there for life, okay? Unless you take it down. You know, so... 
that's my little soapbox feel today, y'all. I'm almost, I'm almost on my way to work. I just want to say, if you have made it this far in the video, baby, pat yourself on the back. You is the real MVP or VIP, okay? Thank you so much. If you have not yet subscribed to my channel, go ahead and subscribe and hit, click your notification bell so you can always be notified when I put videos out here. Make sure you like this video. Or if you don't like the video, like you can dislike it too. I mean, it's okay. I ain't mad. Uh, leave a comment so we can talk. Tell me what your opinions are on the Wendy Williams situation, Tamar situation, or the situation about you, these YouTubers putting their public business, or private business, excuse me, their private business out here about their relationships. Like, look, we can talk about that too, okay? All right, y'all, I'm gonna let y'all go. Y'all make sure y'all have a good day, a blessed day. Until the next time, y'all, I'll see y'all in the next video. Y'all be easy. Bye.